wait, this needs to go by here. Mr. Purell. What else? What's in this It was just stuff from uh, Bob Lilly. Oh, okay. Are you taping now? I can always edit. You want to come in, don't you? I don't know. Do I? I don't know your skit. I haven't been privy to your well, skit. I think you, I talked to you about it. All you said was the camera's going to get you erasing that. That's all you said. Yeah, so I think you, I think you come around the corner. Okay. As if you're going to grab your stuff. So maybe, maybe you come around the corner, and in, in the, if the camera's here, you, there's enough to where you can see your hand grabbing this stuff. Okay. And then, and then you look up, and I'll say, oh, well, hi, Rob, but, you know... So you tell me, you tell me where you want this place. So I think this, we'll back this up over here, so that you can just kind of <clears> turn <throat> and grab it. I'll move this garbage can because that's why is that so full? It shouldn't be that full. There's only four of us. <laughs> they empty that thing once a month. Okay. Vinny, so yeah, think... you want to participate in his little skit? I watch. This is Maybe you might want to... Can you the, film? The room needs to be like... Hey, you could... Oh, oh you have the well, I feel like the room should be like stark. Don't you? Like it should be like... Well, it already is. We've already stripped the walls. That's what I mean. It needs to be like... Like there's like nothing in your room except your... <clears throat> Take away all this stuff? For now. Just, 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 or actually you can just you can just put it back that way so it's off, off camera for now. It just needs to be really... Like overly stark. <laughs> so, <laughs> so is Vinny gonna do the filming? No, I think I think you have to only because you gotta have your hand. Okay. Because it's it's gotta be kind of from I think the first the first take will be kind of from your point of view. Boy, we're really packing this thing up. You gotta eat this cookie, bro. That's, that's Melissa's. I, I thought about it, but I... This I, belongs to someone, right? Maybe yeah. this is yours. What, how did we do this? How did this happen? How long have we been in here? That has not been moved in months. It's been the source of our juice for a while. <laughs> Somehow I don't I don't think this I don't think this first part of the video is gonna make it into any cut. <laughs> <laughs> Just dump them on my back. <laughs> I don't even this part. This never did look good. This, I, I just, have just I have no idea what you're doing. Like you've got this thing in your head. Just stuff Melissa brought in. From a director's perspective, you must have something going on, because... No, it's just, a, it's just a stark, it's just a stark, you know, like, there's, like, there's nothing. And it's just, it's just you coming in with your, with the camera here, with your hand, and you look up, and I'm just like, I'm like, oh, hey, Rob. And you're like, well, I'm ahead of this. All right. You, you say, I'm, my cue is you saying, well, I'm headed to the, I'm headed to the airport. I don't hate Rob, I was just... Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Don't do that again. <laughs> but if I'm like this, I guess I can do like this, right? That's better than I think. You just need to erase it. Just get it over with. But you got you got to be coming in. All right. You somehow have to miss this stuff. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll get it. Oh, hey, Eric. I'm getting ready to take off, go to the airport. Oh, hey, Rob. I was just kind of cleaning up the savannah here of Project R for now, putting it on ice. It's a new project. It's called Project Deep Freezer with a capital R. Put an R on ice, good? Well, hey, I just wanted to say it's been great having you on the team. It's a testament to Stuart Johnson and all of his contacts and his knowledge of us and what we shared with him and his knowledge of you and knowing that that would be a really good fit. Uh, you know, we brought the best that we could to the table, but we were very incomplete without you. You were an excellent complement to the team and opened up our eyes. I feel like you and I was doing that because you, you do that, you have a lot of hand gestures. But you really opened up our eyes to, this is how network marketing works. This is what you, these are things that you need to do. You need to have these behaviors, you need to have these attitudes, you need to have these points of view as you approach how you're gonna do all this. And so I feel like we were on a really good path in all of that. I think your input was critical for us developing the things that we did to get the approvals that we did. I think a lot of that went really smoothly because you were involved and nothing, nothing that you did sounded like, you know, it wouldn't work or it was the wrong approach or everything seemed to make sense. Um, the more that I worked with you and the team worked with you, uh, I really felt like every week that went by, I felt in my mind and my heart that you were a great fit for our company, our team, and the company that we were building. So every week I just felt more and more like, man, Rob's, Rob's the right guy. So it's, a, it's good that it was going in that direction rather than, you know, just to... Um, and uh, yeah, please definitely keep in touch. And uh, I wish you all the best. I hope we can get this thing going again soon, and that, however it turns out, it's kind of a funny thing, because I, I want you to find something else quickly and get something going and have it be wildly successful at the same time. I don't want you to be so engaged in something that when we get this thing going again, you're not available. Because I would love to work with you again and pick up right where we left off and keep going. Anyway, I wish you all the best. Stay in touch and be well. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. That was very nice. That was far greater than I anticipated.